Hi guys, welcome back and happy Monday. So, you know, this episode, we're just going to be talking about our life's update because we've been going through it kind of. Yeah. I know I have. I know Kathy's been busy mm -hmm. being a mom. I know Jasmine's been busy prepping for med school. So let's get into it. Let's, let's go. go. It's, been, it's been a long time coming. Um, so who wants to start? Because I, I don't mm. want to start. I could start with my update. Okay. It's okay. going to be long. It's okay because we need all the time. <laughs> Listeners. Let me give a little quick, quick update. Jasmine leaving us very soon. So we're trying to get these ap episodes back to back to back. So I love when Kathy talks we love sometimes, her. but we right love now her. we need her to talk. She loves to talk. Usually I'm like, Kathy, why. just be quiet. But right now, you know what? Okay. You we go for we need you. We you need you. Go for it. <laughs> okay. So basically, um, when I came back from Colombia, the daycare that Devil was in was like, nope, you were, you were left for too long. And now he's in a wait list and he's transitioning from like, cause he's going in from like two years to three years. So it's like a different program that he's going to go into. And there is a waiting list. And then in my program, they just told us that they're transitioning from online to in class. So I'm going to have to be in class more often. Yay. Starting in August, right? Yes. Or no, September. Yeah, September. Yeah, How do you feel about August? that? Stress. I mean, because I like more in class because that way I don't get distracted. But it, I'm stressed because of all the logistics that have to go in my house in order for me to make it to class. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the stress. But so when they say that, and I, when I went to talk to the, uh, Diego's school, they told us like, oh, um, the program's going to be done at three. And I'm like, at three? Like my class, sometimes it starts at four and I'm done until six. Or, yeah. you know, and then Carlos, like, um, he goes, he gets out of work. If he wants to be at the site around like 4.30, he'll have to leave Oakland at 3 sharp because the traffic is yeah. crazy. Traffic is traffic terrible. Is terrible. And that, yeah. that's what you're going to be dealing with when you do start in person. Yeah, the traffic, traffic is, is really is bad. Not going to lie, I loved COVID when the, when the freeways were empty. I was like, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I know, that was always a class. So... I was like, I need to find another school. Yeah. So wait, what actually happened to Thiago? Because you went to Colombia, they kicked him out and said, no, nope, yes, he can't come. Because in. they say that they, they, he cannot like re rejoin the program because they basically have like 10 days of vacation. They only give you 10 it's days. It's like college. That's it's crazy. like crazy. And he's a two year old. What is he in college? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe they do that because other kids want. Need their like program. a spot. That's what I was maybe. thinking. Maybe. That's or, ridiculous. Or they receive like a certain amount of funding for each kid in the school. I I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So like they yeah. don't. Yeah. So they don't get paid. So they might need the spot to right. fill in to get that money. But that that sucks. Like again, he's two years old. He's in preschool. It's like you have a life. What about you wanted to go on vacation? What you what you did? Mm -hmm. Or it's a like family now. emergency. Like you yeah. Know? yeah yeah yeah. That sucks. So that sucked. And then. Sucked even more when they were like, oh, no, the program is on a three. And I'm like, you don't have an extended program like the one that he was in. Nope, not for this program. I'm like, okay, so I have to find a new school. So finding a new school, it's hard. I find out it's really hard. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, like you have to look for programs and then you have. So basically, it's a kind of an awkward time right now because people are in summer school and summer school already started. So it's kind of too late for him to be in like a summer program. But then it's too early for him to start because... The program they don't really start until like August or September. Yeah. So, so you're kind, kind of, of in limbo. In limbo, yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's crazy because again, he's in preschool. You yeah. would think he's not on the same timeline as like regular school. Yeah. Like he's preschool. It should be all year round if anything. It should, yeah, because those, it's to let like, parents work. Yeah. Parents have to work. They don't get off for summer unless no. you like a teacher. And or then something. it's hard because and then that's when I find out that um basically for this age now that he's in mm -hmm. if i want to get him into like summer programs i have to do it like super early in the year so he could get a spot or else he's going to be stuck with me the whole summer it's competitive out moms, there in preschool new moms, yes mm -hmm. seriously new moms take notes because yes. this is not easy out it's, here it's not for kathy it's, it's easy not, for me I'm not for kathy for us. <laughs> and then to keep in mind i'm taking like three classes whatever <laughs> i am a hater and then, uh, you know, I'm taking three classes online, and then it's a lot of writing, a lot of reading. Mm, not fun. So, it's, a, it's, it's been a lot to juggle. Because um, before, like, Diago, 
um, I don't know, like before I was able to do like homework with him and take care of him. But right now, because, you know, he's like talking and he wants he's to play. into everything. Yeah. yeah. So he literally sees me with my computer. He says, Mama, no. I think he closes. Because <laughs> he knows. Because you've Damn. literally been in school yes. all his life. Yeah. Like basically. since, he, start, since yeah. he started school, he was like an infant and everything. Yeah. yeah. So That's he was cool. like, yeah, no. So cool. Yeah. And then he's like, That's Mama, cute. no. And he closes the computer. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So basically the only time that I have to do homework after 9.30. That time's oh, that's rough. rough. Yeah, that's so it's, it's been it's been rough because uh, I have I have to be with him the whole day, and I'm playing with him. And oh, and then it's another thing. It's summer, so it's really hot. He's white, okay, he's and he's pale. sensitive. <laughs> and then it's hot. I'm not gonna put pants on him. So and where where we live, it's very very hot, like it's a hundred nineties. Really so the parts are burning. So I've been looking, thank you, Linda, because Linda has helped me to look for like indoor activities for him. Yeah. Uh, but even then, there's not a lot. It's very like scarce. Like it's not a lot of like indoor activities for him. Yeah, especially probably around your area too. Yeah. You would think there would be more given that it's a it's hot and kids right. can't go to the park there. Yeah. Right. And he has allergies. And oh, oh and yeah, that was yeah. another that yeah you. to <laughs> add that to the pot. So basically, we get back from Colombia. And then one day he wakes up with his eyes like super watery and red and sneezing and he couldn't sleep. And I'm like, what's wrong? Poor thing. Yeah, I was like, is he getting a cold? Because before that, he was not diagnosed with no allergies before. So it was weird. So I take him to the doctor and then she's like, oh, yeah, like, I guess you kids do not really develop allergies until like they're three. And I'm like, you should have told me that before. <laughs> like... And it's bad. Allergy season is so bad. Right it now. really is. Like it's at horrible. It's all time high. Horrible. So he will like he wakes up in the middle of the night and then he like throws himself like to his mattress and starts like going like that because he's oh, like his nose no itchy. more itchy. Itchy. Yeah. and he doesn't and then, like understand it. You no, know? he doesn't understand what's going yeah. on with his body because it's mm -hmm. never happened. That would mm -hmm. suck. So I'm like, babe, what's wrong? And then he's like, ah, ah. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't give you anything for that. But so now he's taking a medication. That's another thing. Our health system sucks. Oh yeah, we can have a long conversation. <sighs> yeah. When you start, yeah. Jasmine, when you start actually working in it and learning, it's it's no right. It Even as an EMT, like I see a lot no, of things like that you need being to... like a doctor. It's, yeah, it's so much you're gonna want to do, but like the system itself. Sucks. No, I know. I see because like I'm like communicating with like you know like nurses and doctors and stuff, and I'll like tell them things, and they tell me that they can't, and I'm like. So I, I see a little bit of it already. It's a money game. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a monopoly. Yes. It's literally money. It's they, don't, they don't care about you. Well, what I've learned so far is if you want to really help your patient, it's all about the way you worded things. Yep. The way you word things is going to make you big far. Difference. It's very yes. true. That's, that's what my preceptor right now, my clinical instructor, same thing, is telling us right now, like kind of teach us. It's like, you know, this there's ways around certain things. Mm -hmm. It's like, like you said, the way you word, word mm -hmm. it to help your patient. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so basically he had, he had like a 10 a.m. appointment, let's say it was early in the day. He needed, he really needed his medication and they didn't give me, they didn't give me his medication at all that day. So I went to the store and I found out like the generic kind of brand. Mm -hmm. And then because dude, I'm like, he's not sleeping. He's suffering. Yeah. So I need to, I need to figure it out. So I did. And his medication was ready two days after. So yeah, the health system sucks. So... I am so dealt with him being in allergies and then he got sick. So dealt with him with allergies and he got sick. And baby just, fever went away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, no. So then uh twenty four hours I'm with him and oh, I cannot it was really hard imagine. for me to like kinda um assimilate or like yeah, like kinda like get used to the situation again because I've been with Diego before like twenty four hours, but he was a baby and then now he's a toddler, it's different. And so I literally put him to sleep because since like we went to Colombia, Carlos has been working like from nine to nine. And when he comes back, like that will sleep basically. So mm -hmm. I put him to sleep and then I, sometimes I'm so tired, I, I fall asleep mm -hmm. with him. And then Carlos comes and wakes me up around like midnight. And I'm like, dude, I have so much homework to do. And I'm like, why didn't you wake me up earlier? <laughs> not you getting mad at somebody else and not waking you yes. up. <laughs> yes, I am. And yeah. then, and then uh, so now he knows that if I am in that room for more than 30 minutes, 
go and check mm -hmm. because then because that was like I, I that was like really um pushing me behind because i would be yeah. like the whole sunday sitting yeah. down because sunday's the only day that i have like carlos there Ooh. that he could like watch over Thiago, mm -hmm. so i could fully focus on all my homework so sometimes i'm sitting i'm not gonna lie like 9 a.m all the way to like 11 30 just to fin turn in all my homework. I believe you. 9 a.m. to 11.30 p.m.? Yeah. Yes. 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 Because it's a lot of reading. And I feel like yeah, it is. In, <laughs> with these assignments, you cannot really like skim through it because you have to write about it. Yeah. So it's not like I could. And then that was another issue that I was having with uh, one of my professors. Well, two of my professors. Because they're I'm very to the point. Like, if you ask me, how are you good? But if you don't tell me, like, to explain or why, then I'm not going to say it. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, they were like, no, you need to, like, expand your answers. Because your answers are good, but you need to expand them. They're more. very concise. And writing, yeah. no, writing is hard. Yeah. Yes, and I hate it. That's to add on to that. I'm the same way. Like, I just get to the point. Yeah. Like, with the whole discussion sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. I'll write, like, a paragraph. And then, you know how you submit your assignments and you mm -hmm. can't see the, um, your classmates' response until you just, yeah. until you reply? And then now you go edit it. Yeah, so <laughs> like, I'm writing literally like this much, a paragraph. I go on, submit. Oh, There's I students know. who literally write like two pages. Yes. I'm like, well, what's wrong with I'm you I'm like, did you really have to make me look yeah. that yeah. bad? Like, come and on. And then so what I do is like, I'll like search to see if it's someone like, like me who only wrote a paragraph and there's... Three other classmates that always write like a paragraph. So I was like, okay, I'm okay. I'm not the only one that only wrote a paragraph. <laughs> and that's where I would have gone and kept writing. Yeah. I would have gone and I was kept like, writing. I was like, nope. No, because I, sometimes you don't even think like, what else am I going to say? But yeah. you have people that are yeah. just write part of uh, so much. Paragraph. And the trick is, guys, you because know, every semester you may get like a new professor. Mm -hmm. So the trick is for your first assignments to test the water. Mm -hmm. See how little you could do. Mm -hmm. Don't get yourself an F. Look at Jasmine shaking her head. <laughs> so see. You got to work smart. So yeah. So for me, I was like, okay, let's see how this professor works. I'll do a paragraph. I get full credit. Guess who's doing par only one paragraph for the rest of the semester? Mm -hmm. I. Me. Yep. yep. I learned that from Linda. Yeah. I was freaking out. I remember it was like two semesters ago or something. And Probably. you're like, dude, just test the water. So test like, the okay. water. First and then, tested. yeah, and then I was like, if I could get away just writing two paragraphs, I'm good. I'm gonna do it the whole semester, and guess what? I'm gonna pass with an A. Exactly. So, you have students who write in literally four paragraphs okay. versus my one paragraph, and we're getting the same points. Mm -hmm. I will say this I'm not like that, but I wonder if that will change when I go to medical school. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Jasmine being the type that's writing 10 pages on the discussion yeah. post. Yeah, I'm for like, sure. for real, I'm like, how are you guys getting everything done? <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't have time for that because yeah. like, a lot of times the, the busy work or busy work they're yeah. trying to make up for the high tuition. Yeah, it's pointless. A lot of I time. will say this: there was a class that I took where I felt that the posts that we were doing were kind of meaningless and like didn't really help me understand the material. So I didn't put as much effort as I usually do. Mm -hmm. I'll say that because I didn't think it was useful. But yeah, she thought she was wasting <laughs> her time, so she. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, yeah, it's been kicking my butt. And then now I'm finding, trying to find a school. So basically, I feel like in Oakland, I'm more comfortable because I lived here for so long. Like, I knew where, what schools were good, what schools were bad. Oh, but there is, like, a new field. You, you're and researching yeah. everything. For yeah. 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 Girl, when I see these reviews, so I start looking. I'm like, okay, so I'm not, like... For daycare? Oh, yeah, they're expensive, okay? Don't judge daycare? me. Oh, no, it's, it's expensive. expensive. I forgot what the the average price I think for like daycare. 2000, I think yeah. like 2000 Yeah. For a month. That's the lowest. Yeah. That's, that's a minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's you sending your baby in the hood to go to school for 2000 a month. <laughs> yeah, huh? and that's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 With these ramp prices and inflation and yada, it's yada, yada. California. Living in California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Terrible. So then I'm looking at free daycares because I am a student. So I'm not working right now, and because I haven't had time to find a job because I'm taking care of my kid, so my kid needs to be situated first, and then I could find a job, and then I have to find a job that's flexible. But it's school. like you can't win because you like, need a job to pay for it, but then you need a daycare to get a job. So it's like yeah. we're kind of effed so, either way. Yeah, and then it's hard because then when I get a job, I have to find a flexible job in order for me to do my preceptorship next year. And that's and gonna it, kick your boots. Yeah, away. so that's why I'm like, wh where do I win? Yeah, like, you know. So I look at the daycares and they tell me like about this program. I apply for the program. It takes super, I literally was checking every day. 
until they finally call me and they finally like oh yeah like we might be able to help you but we don't know because you're doing a master's program and i'm Wait, like what, 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 what do they mean yeah because they basically help like full-time students that are undergrad oh because you're a mass yes oh. and i'm like okay and then i, I will so appreciate like any help that i could get so then she emails me like a day later and then she's like oh guess what i spoke with my supervisor like you're good to go but then they asked me for like literally the package is like this oh dang and then they're like they asked me to fill that and then i have to fill all that and then i have to you know do everything else that i do in the daily yeah and i'm like okay so next thing you know she's like you need to fill that out and i'm like okay but I can't and then and then she's like you need to find schools that accept this program that you're going in and i'm like okay uh but can you give me a list so i don't have to hit up like every school oh like oh know? they were just like here yeah and then she's like yeah you could email this person and i'm like okay so i emailed the person and she's like so what address do you want and i'm like dang because now i have to think if we have an emergency like nobody's gonna be able to get to him like you know you have to think these things through mm -hmm. and i'm like well find me in pittsburgh so she sends me like 10 schools in pittsburgh so i go on reviews because hey if i don't know i don't know the hood i don't know the system i have to basically rely on reviews yeah and then i go into oh god into <laughs> like this big daycare that where they have like different like facilities in different cities and i look in the reviews and it's like 3.6 and then i looked in one of the comments and like i have my granddaughter was there for like i think it was like six months like a few months and then she would come up with like a busted lip and dang. they wouldn't give no explanation. Oh, dang, those kids are fighting and for their life. Exactly. And then that's when I was Sorry. like, <laughs> I was like, I'm trying not to raise a fighting kid. And how, because when he already has it in his dream. Yeah. It literally, it literally sound like survive the fittest. Oh, dang. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not going to send him to that daycare. Yeah. And it's so, crazy because... The daycare she's referring to, my nephew, my uh, my nephew currently goes there, but he's only. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny because he's only six months. So oh. yeah, because his mom is like working and doesn't like can't like take mm -hmm. care of him and like of course go to work. So yeah. she puts him there. She's already having a hard time because he's always getting sick. Kids in daycare yeah. always get always sick. Get, yeah, that's yeah. they're around kids. That's a, yeah. yeah. But and then they always they have holidays off. So midweek it is like she was like I think they're like taking off Juneteenth. They're taking off Fourth of July. It's like okay, I understand y'all want to celebrate these holidays, but we some people still got to work. Yeah, they yeah. should still be working those days. So and then I think they they the the program ends like at three p.m. or something like that. So she was like, this is not working. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so then we we're looking at other programs and like another other schools that they recommend and they're like three stars for they just tell me that negative one uh, star <laughs> it was like one comment was like oh uh, i went to talk to because basically like um the kid they were treating the kids like they were in military school oh dang and um, building soldiers wow yes um, so this was in walnut creek this this facility was in walnut creek and uh the parents went up to her like hey do you see what's going on with my kid like do are you noticing like she's not talking to people she's becoming more like um what like, like uh reserved like yeah what is it like as so, I, I don't know, uh, when you like move out of the society like isolated isolate yeah. like herself from like the kids yeah i don't get paid for this i only get paid for taking care of her See, like that's that. one thing I'm, like, anxious about sending my kids and then, to daycare and stuff. Yeah. You can't trust people. That's not a very nice answer. Yeah. I would not feel comfortable with someone saying mm -hmm. that. And then you're like, so, so you're saying you do the bare minimum. Like, yeah. Basically. Wanna, yeah. And that's then that's sad. when I'm like, how would I have an answer? Like, you know? Yeah. Because I know myself. Yeah. So then that, that's that been an issue. So I'm like, do I just get a job and then do I just pay for a daycare that could keep him? Because I find a daycare that I... That, but that one has to be paid for. And that one would keep him from like 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is kind of ideal for me right now. That's because what you need. that's what I need, especially with other semesters coming up, being in person. I don't know what times I'm gonna get, but at least I have that cushion that if if I wait if I my class is done at four, I know he's gonna be okay. Because you know, they're gonna have him there until six. Mm -hmm. Or you know, like that it's yeah. like good. 
So, I don't know, guys. This has been it, like, regarding Thiago. That just sounds like a lot to worry about, like, when you're trying to juggle a master's program or, like, yeah. I can't see myself being focused on my school when I'm, like, I got to make sure this is good first. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, and then, even, lot. and then even when I was talking to, and that's, um, I told you guys, like, I was talking with one of my teachers and I, I had to explain to her, I was like, hey, I, 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 I'm trying to find a job. And also, finding a job is hard. Like, finding a job that goes with my needs, in a way. And around your school schedule, yes, that's flexible, yes. that's Be one thing, yeah. yeah. Child care. Because one thing is, like, doing a 12-hour shift, like, right now. Another thing is, are they going to understand that maybe next semester I won't be able to do that's a 12-hour shift because I'm going to be in clinicals, you yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Or you have to reduce your days. You maybe only can work one day out of a week yeah. versus three days. And then you have so, also, like, hospitals that are, like, because I was looking at requirements and stuff. And what well, you have to have experience, and I'm like, but how do I get experience if I can't get experience? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, can I you, would, yeah, you need a, a year experience. Yeah, like, can you give me a chance, and then like, you know, to get my experience? No, they yeah, they like, yeah. And then so I was talking to my teacher, I was like, hey, can you help me like find a job? And she was like super supportive, and she's like, yeah, like I could help you. So you're like, I'll help you, blah blah. blah. But then I'm like, you know what? Let me get my son situated first. First, yeah. yeah. Good idea. And then I could commit to it. Because I don't wanna Because then Tiago's coming too. Yeah. yeah and then I don't much. wanna I don't wanna like um let her like down, down you yeah. know, because I don't want her to think that I'm not serious about it. like I am serious finding a job. But it's just let me get let me get this situation first and then that way I could like pull my full focus on finding yeah. a job and giving it every, my all basically yeah. no that makes sense that's one thing is like i that's the reason why i need to have lots and lots of money um mm -hmm. as an adult because like you said child care is expensive and when you don't have family members that can take care like help mm -hmm. raise your child and take care of your child like you have to look out look for other resources and yeah. mm -hmm. was, unfortunately like they're very expensive so i was like because mm, even me i'm thinking about whenever i have kids and like who can take care of my kids it's like I don't, got, I don't have that many options. So I would have to, like, um, hopefully whoever my future husband is, hopefully. You're they're, out there somewhere. Yeah, yep, hopefully, you're like, their life. mom, you know, their mom will be, like, a great grandparent that can, like, take take the kid and, like, um, babysit them when needed. But it's, like, nowadays, people, parents are working, still working. Mm -hmm. So they can't, you know, babysit your kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's stressful. Because that's the issue with me it's, right now. Like, my parents, they're, like, 60. And they're mm -hmm. still they're working. still working. And then yeah. my mom just had surgery, so like she they, because even my mom said it like when because she see me how like I struggle. Yeah. This whole like I don't know since we got back from Colombia, she's like, oh my god, like I want to take this neck brace off and help and you help, because yeah. I see how like even yeah. people are like how, you, I don't know how you do it like it's you cook stressful. fresh meals and you do this. Oh, yeah, same. And I, don't I don't know how you do it. Yeah. Oh and, God, it, and it's it's hard because he's so small. When yes. he gets older, it'll be way easier because he yeah. can kind of take care of himself. Mm -hmm. Let me put some respect on my name. No, though I don't have like a a child that I birthed, but I do take care of my sister mm -hmm. full time. She's my sister child, you know. <laughs> She's not, I didn't have her, but it's like I'm stressed with her, like very stressed with her. But so I can't imagine her being like an infant not he's not an infant like like a, a toddler, toddler yeah and taking care because it's like he actually needs more hands and that's on a, i mean that's that's yeah. thing that kind of like um i feel kind of guilty because so he's has like a language delay mm -hmm. and i just i sometimes because i talk to him a lot and i'm like i wish you could talk because if you were able to talk like i could put you in like a daycare and I know you're going to tell, tell me what's going anything. on because yeah. that's, that's the part that like yeah it's, it's hard scary. because he doesn't communicate so I don't know if they're going to do some because people are crazy well yeah. I'll tell you this he'll defend himself that's yeah I know that's bad yeah. but, <laughs> but you know just, you don't want your kid no, fighting no, all the time no, no, <laughs> I know you're joking yeah. I, know. I was like I don't want you to be like me in Oakland yeah. always like looking over my just, shoulder yeah. no. fighting everybody like what are you looking at you want to fight Dude, I remember somebody told me that back in the day. And I was literally not even looking at them. I was just dozing off. <laughs> that was in the bus. Oh, the good old bus days. Oh, man. But, yeah, so, like, that's what I love I'm... growing up in Oakland. There's always something going on. And you won't get bored. Definitely no. Definitely won't get bored. You'll be on your toast. Girl. <laughs> that's funny. But basically, um, yeah, like I feel sometimes guilty because I'm, I'm like, if you could only talk, but 
he's saying words now, but and he also makes it difficult because I so like girls mm -hmm. his age. They're talking like they're like fully talking. Mm -hmm. So I would feel a little bit more like safer if he would talk because I would I could put him in daycare and he could tell me like, what's going on. But yeah. right now I'm literally solely relying on reviews. Yeah. yeah. Is because, he still going to speech therapy? Yeah. And okay. then oh, that's another thing. I, he's going <laughs> to speech therapy. So I, like my week is all your calendar is full. Yeah. And then next week he's starting because obviously I don't want to keep him at home. And then like, that's another thing. Like I don't want to keep him at home because there's not a lot of activities to do yeah and yeah. i don't want him to just be a zombie in the tv yeah yeah so i have been looking like uh last week sprinklers were lifesavers <laughs> because it, <laughs> was, fun. it, it was, was hot it was too. very very hot so i put him out he was running out around with the sprinkler sprinklers for only 10 minutes and then i'll bring him in and then like we'll do something else mm -hmm. and um so the activity that i got for him next week is swimming classes Oh, oh, nice! Yeah, fun. that'd be fun. Yeah, it's fun. It. But then now I have to run around even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put because, more stress on yourself, right? Because I have yeah. to be like classes are ten a.m. every day, and I have to find a swimming suit, which I have a lot, but I can't find them for the life of me. And uh, you know, swimming suits, and then I have to like, okay, I have to drive him at ten, and then it's done at ten thirty, and I'm like, okay, the rest of the day. There's a parking from like maybe we we'll go to the park and then maybe I could yeah. drive back. Like it's just Ooh, a lot of he, driving. He needs to get his butt in daycare right mm -hmm. now. Yes. So if anybody knows somewhere that's affordable and safe to send the child for let daycare, us know. please DM. let us know. Please, for Kathy's sake, because <laughs> how's your mental health? Yeah, this? I honestly. was just thinking about that. I was like, that's a lot. <sighs> it's been hard. Like I honestly haven't seen my therapist more. You haven't or have? No, no, she I haven't not. seen her since I got back from Colombia because. I've been putting like kind of like in the back burner. Yeah, and too she much even texted me. She's like, "Is everything okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's just it's a, I don't even know when I would have." Girl, to you better hurry up because you it. you still spending money. Uh no, do you no, pause no, no, it? No, no, okay, no, no. Good. I paused it. Okay, good. That yeah, because sense. I'm like I I don't even know when because like so one thing that I'm putting as a priority right now is like uh like my knee. So I've been doing like physical ther like my physical therapist okay. like three days a week and then working out but even then it's just like then my day just goes by real fast and then yeah. um i've been like really really stressed out and then but i try not to like take it all like go off on people mm -hmm. because like carlos he's like he tries to joke when he gets home and i'm like i'm not for it because like we joke hard like I can see it. I yeah. can see it. Yeah. The dark humor that yeah that we have. And then sometimes he has like the nerve. I know he's joking, but then not I the get mood. mad. Not yeah, the because right like, now you're not. not yeah, like there. yesterday he got home, he was tired, and then he took Tiago for like a bike a bike ride, and then I was like, come on, Tiago, just help me because at the end, and then that's the thing that I also feel bad that sometimes at the end of the day my patients are so like like this. Yeah. Because I have to deal not just with just Tiago, but with other people in my household. So I was like, come on, Tiago, like, just put your shoe on. And then he kept moving. He's like, and, I'm, yeah. and then he's laughing. I'm like, it's not funny. Just put your shoe. <laughs> yeah. I move. I put the shoe. And then Carlos was like, why? Why are you always arguing with him? Like, you always argue. And I'm like, I'm, I'm tired. tired. No, I'm not off. I was like, how do you know if you're not even here the whole day? You mm -hmm. just got here. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, I was just kidding. And I was like, no. I was <laughs> yeah, like, you're ah, over it that time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, my patience has been really low. And then it's been weird because the only interaction that I have with, like, people that I like, it's like, yeah, adults. here. And yeah. we come to record the podcast <laughs> yeah. once a week. Once this is my fun week. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, me doing my makeup, me dressing up. Like, it's just yeah. when I'm here. Because yeah. the other days, I mean, mo. Mom yeah. mood, which is yeah, like whatever you could get fast and then so yeah i think that's been like kind of like stressing me out a lot like school has been stressing me out a lot yeah just, i've been overall is just like stress stress and i and i can see that yeah. like i understand that's very understandable too like to even add on like the low patients because i understand because mm -hmm. i can only imagine with a freaking toddler living so, with them too yeah and like yeah. having to raise someone like super small like Thank God, like, my Jay, like, she's able to look out for herself if need to be. But she does still require a lot of care. So this week for me, I've been, like, super stressed and super busy and just tired. I'm so, so tired. So my, pat my patience is like this, like, a so tiny. It's very small.
Hold that thought. Stay tuned next week for part two of this week's episode. Thanks for listening to this episode of PD3 with your hosts, Linda, Jasmine, and Kathy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at a potent dose of three so that you never miss an episode and your weekly dose.